Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you through my morning skincare routine. The first part of my morning skincare routine is actually internal. So the first thing I do every single morning is drink lots of water to hydrate my entire body, all my skin cells, gets my digestive system going. I also love adding in the juice of a lemon. Lemons are packed with skin loving ingredients like vitamin C, which is needed by the body to produce collagen, which is of course super important to keep our skin youthful, firm, smooth, and clear. I also like grating in some ginger, which is again, great for your skin your metabolism and your digestion so these ingredients plus all that water will really help to just overall detox impurities out of your system which is also really helpful for maintaining clear skin and it just makes you feel super good and refreshed first thing in the morning which i love and next moving into my bathroom where all the magic happens i first make sure to just tie my hair back so that it's out of my face i usually put it in a ponytail or in a low bun then i wash my hands make sure they're totally clean and then i just kind of examine what my skin needs that day. I love different skincare products and I have some that I use for specific concerns or just depending on how my skin is doing. So just check in with myself, see what I need and these are the products that I'll be using today. I usually keep them in my cupboard by the way but today I put them all here together so you can see everything that I'm using. Starting off with a little cleansing, I'm using the Indie Brightening Cleanser which is an incredible all-natural product. It's very gentle on the skin. So I first just splash some water on my face, best feeling ever. So I take about two pumps and start working it into the skin and I like to give myself a little facial massage here too because I love a little massaging and the ingredients in this cleanser are really good. It's very rich in vitamin C, antioxidants, plant extracts. So it cleanses really well but it also has a really nice brightening effect on the skin. So it leaves my skin very smooth and silky feeling, not overly dry and I just love cleansing my skin. I find it quite therapeutic actually and I really enjoy the little massage that I do with it as well. I then rinse my face and pat dry with a towel. Now this next step I don't do every day but definitely a few times per week and that is to apply a face mask. This has been a recent favorite. It is the Sunday Riley Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask. A lot of you guys may know that I also love the Peter Thomas Roth Sulfur Mask but this one is a little bit less drying so it's great to use in the morning. Sulfur is an incredible ingredient for acne prone or oily skin types. This mask also contains bentonite clay, zinc, tea tree oil so it's just loaded with ingredients to really help calm and clarify the skin. I find that when I take care of my skin properly by using the right product, putting in that time and effort and of course also making sure to eat well, it just allows me to feel more confident about my skin, wear less makeup and just feel at my best. And these little steps definitely do make a difference in the appearance of my skin, especially for someone like me who just was not blessed with the great skin gene. I have pretty sensitive and difficult skin so over the years I've truly learn to just enjoy the process of self-care and the benefits are there body mind and soul now my skin feels super refreshed. The next step is a little facial mist. This one from Josh Rosebrook is heavenly. The ingredients are all natural and really great for your skin and it just smells incredible. So I just take a moment here to breathe it all in. This next step is one of my favorites because I love a little facial massage. I like to use this roller from Nurse Jamie and I will just gently roll it underneath my eyes. This roller stays pretty cool so it's very deep puffing and energizing. It's great to do this first thing in the morning. It really wakes your face up. Moving on to my absolute favorite serum at the moment. This one is from IS Clinical. It's called the Pro Heal Serum. It comes in a little dropper like this and I will take a few drops directly onto my face and then just gently massage it in and pat to kind of seal it in place. When it comes to serums for the daytime, I always use one which is rich in vitamin C. So I like to consume it internally and also apply it topically. Vitamin C helps to protect the skin from environmental stress like pollution, too much sun exposure. It's also great for acne prone skin, it has lots of anti-aging benefits and just overall helps to really brighten and smooth the texture of your skin. And next, moving on to a moisturizer. I recently ran out of my beloved La Mer soft moisturizing cream, but I also had this one that I wanted to try, which is the Sunday Riley Tidal Water Cream. I also love adding in just a few drops of this Disciple Good Skin Facial Oil. I've actually been really into the Sunday Riley Water Cream for the daytime because it's super, super moisturizing and nourishing. 
packaging but still very lightweight and breathable. It contains two forms of hyaluronic acid to attract and hold moisture on the skin as well as a few ingredients like papaya enzyme to help brighten the skin tone. And oh my god this facial oil is aromatherapy heaven. The ingredients are incredible. It contains lots of great active botanicals to help soothe the skin but I mostly use this for the therapeutic aromatherapy properties. It smells so incredible and I'm so big on natural scents when it comes to self-care. I find it incredibly relaxing and enjoyable so I love to just breathe this in whilst I give myself a nice massage. I make sure to just keep moving my hands upward and outwards to help keep everything firm and lifted. Facial massage is so good for increasing circulation and blood flow to all your skin cells. It helps to boost your lymphatic drainage so you get rid of any excess fluid or puffiness that you might have. It's also just so refreshing and relaxing and any product that I have left over I always apply it to the back of my hand. I'm not the biggest eye cream user, but I do like it from time to time, so I just thought I would show you which one I use. This is the Sunday Riley Autocorrect Eye Cream, which contains caffeine and ginseng, so it's also really refreshing and great to use in the morning. So just using little light taps to apply that under the eyes. And then for some SPF, this is a really nice one from Kula, which is an all-natural brand. It has a broad spectrum SPF of 30. This is a physical mineral-based sunscreen as opposed to chemical, which is better for for sensitive or acne prone skin types and I like that it doesn't leave any white cast on my skin plus it's super lightweight and non-greasy which is perfect for the summertime. I also make sure to apply it down my neck and on my chest as well as on the back of my hands because the skin there is also quite thin and susceptible to lots of sun exposure so I want to keep my hands looking youthful and young as well. And then finally to hydrate my lips because they need some love as well. I like using this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask which is super hydrating and it stays on for a really long time. And again, I'll take any excess on my cuticles because we don't want to waste any product. This stuff is so good. And the last step of course is to brush up my brows. I swear this makes the biggest difference to your face. It just gives you that really nice, fresh, youthful look. And if I'm not going to be wearing any makeup, I'll go ahead and curl my lashes as well to open up and brighten my eyes. And that completes my morning skincare routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. Let me know what skincare products you're loving below, and I will see you guys in my next video.